Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 38. We just finished our umpteenth horde. I have no idea what it is or what it was. I've got a bunch of stuff on me that we're going to bring over to the new base. Plus we've got a few other things I want to bring with me. I think I'm going to bring all of the... Uh, where are we here? All of this stuff with us today as well. Uh, let's go load up the bike downstairs. I think I'm going to leave my... Uh, I'm going to leave my um, weapons and stuff here for now, because we're going to be coming back here for a horde. We'll grab everything else we can possibly grab, so let's drop that in. Gives us a little bit left over. Still got the lag. So it's been about, ooh, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks since I recorded that last episode. Um, I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Trying to get my life sorted a little bit, uh, which is why I've been away. But, uh, that being said, actually, let's take these and these out of here. Leave all the parts. Put them in here for now. Um, is there anything here we want to bring over? Actually, we can probably sell the bow. Because we're not going to need it again, right? Um, we got these for repairs. But I don't think we're really going to need them, so let's sell them. we got a bunch of stuff for sale here. Now, as far as hazmat goes, we have a full set of hazmat. And we've got another 12 that we picked up at the last horde. And I think we've got 23 in the bike, which means we're one short from two pieces of hazmat. But we can't actually make it. Um, at least I'm pretty sure we can't make them yet. Go here. So the radiation ready stuff is made in the, uh, uh, let's see here. It's made in the um, tailoring workstation. Yeah, we need to have master scientists. So that, I think we're gonna work towards that because we're gonna need anti-rad pills. Um, and I think after the next horde, I wanna be ready to go. I think we're gonna cross the wasteland and go and do that quest for Eve. Now, if we look on the map here, uh, it is way south of us. So it's down through the wasteland. Yeah, down here. So this is all wasteland here. So the best place to cross, I think, is right here. It's actually the shortest distance across the wasteland. Um, so we may have to come over here, probably get off the bike and run, like foot it across, and then drive down here. I don't know how deep this wasteland goes across here. Like it's, this is Rex town and he's kind of like engulfed in it. And it kind of, it's a fair bit. So I, and I know this is in the snow biome, so I have no idea how much this is wasteland. But I do know that this is the narrowest part of the wasteland. It goes right to the coast too. But this is the narrowest part of the wasteland. So we're probably going to go over there and maybe foot it across. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's going to be bad. Anyway, uh, regardless, let's take this stuff over to the new base. And then I think what I want to try and tackle today, I, I was saying last episode that I want to go and do that quest, the refinery quest. I think what we're going to have to do is probably go find some new mines over there. We need to ramp up concrete production. We need to uh, ramp up steel production. The only way we're going to be able to do that is by grabbing a whole bunch of resources. And the only way we're, by way we're going to be getting resources is to actually get them. So let's get over there. All right, here we are. We're going to go back when we're done here. I think should be grab. Oh yeah, I'm able to grab almost everything. We'll leave the the uh, fuel in the bike though. We don't really need it on us. Now I want to get in here and get our furnaces going. I don't think we have really anything. Ooh, come on. Anytime you're ready. There we are. I don't think we have our... Oh, come on. I don't think we have our furnaces set up up here. Yeah, we got nothing set up. All right, let's get some stuff set up in here. Oh, man. Okay, we got some work to do. Today's our only free day, so I'm hoping to take that to at least get stuff sorted here. Um, let's put some stuff in there. Actually, let's put it all in there. I don't know if we'll make it to the trader today. I'd like to go to Jen, but if we don't get there, we don't get there. Now, um, there's our stove. We need, well, actually, we don't need any of those. We just need a battery for that. 
which should be somewhere around. We got a fair bit of stone too, which is nice. Let's pull that out. We'll leave that. Actually, we need to make some buckshot, so let's pull that out. Uh, here's all our material up here. So we need you. We need you. Leave that for now. Leave that for now. Here's our uh, thing. So we got 372 cement blocks. I should make another workbench for here. We left the other one back at the old place. We got 6,000. It's not bad. Let's bring some of that out. So we'll get something working on steel. We're going to need three, one, two, three, three. Okay, let's get these laid out. Ooh, glue. Uh, let's put that back because we don't need that on us. Um, okay, so for now we're just going to drop them in here. Let's get them up and running. Uh, where are we here? Okay, so here's the first one. Let's get you making as much cement. Actually, do we have... There's that. Do we have any cement? We do have a bit. Not a lot, though. Um, hmm. We got some more in here. God, I'm so... This is so... I have to get this organized today. We have to get this organized. Um... Okay, let's get a workbench going. We need that for the workbench. We need mechanical parts. Mechanical parts probably in here. And I got to kill the locals here in a second. Um, they're not going to pull, pull the building down, but just want it quiet while we're working. So I can hear a wandering horde roll up. Oh, there they are. Okay, so regular workbench. Get that crafted. Can leave you and you in there for now. Okay, so second one. Let's get that sorted around. Third one. Okay, so uh, as much mix as we can get going. Now we've got a couple of stacks of stone. So we're going to need to make some sand. Let's get at least 4,000 sand going. And then in here, ooh, do I have my, I think I left them, my lucky looter, go, not looter, the uh, nerdy goggles. Wait, did I put, where'd all my stone, oh, right, I set it to go. You know what, I can't think. Oi! Get the fuck out of my house. Where's the rest of you? Come on. Whoop. I hear you. Look at you guys. The party has arrived. You know, at a certain point, feral sense basically becomes ineffectual on the landscape. It's still dangerous when you go into a POI because... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. It's nice when they bring you shit that you need. Um, yeah, feral sense during the day is... is um, becomes ineffectual for the regular zombies because they can't really do anything to you. Still hear somebody banging. Well, maybe not. They can't really do anything to you, but when you go into a POI and like they all just all, as soon as you uh, make a noise, they just all wake up, which can be really scary if they're all demons and stuff, right? So it becomes a bit of an issue. Okay, let's wear this. Then let's put whatever we can mix wise going in here then we want to go to here and probably get that's 42 minutes so that's actually really good let's get 3k going in each not six three 
get that happening. And then in here we're going to make... Uh, we need buckshot for more coil shotgun rounds. So let's make 300 of that. We should be making armor piercing rounds too. I generally, I mean, ah, let's just make the, uh, let's make 300 rounds of that. We've got all that other stuff back at the other base. Let's make, um, 600 forged steel. I think so. It's going to get bad real soon with the types of zombies that are going to be showing up when we're fighting. So because of that, we're going to want to make sure we have our base upgraded as best as it possibly can be. So that means really cranking up the steel production. Okay, let's drop this guy down over here. Let's put it by the window. And we need, oh, we don't have a hammer and wrench. I should make a metal workbench here as well. Do we have the actual, we got the, we do. So let's actually do that while we're doing that. Now, do we need a wrench? I don't think we need a wrench in here for the metal workbench, do we? Electrical parts, not mechanical. We're doing okay for electrical parts. 500 is not bad. Okay, we can drop that back. Let's get that going. Uh, what else do we need to get going here before we go out and mining? We got that. That's fine. Uh, do we want to go? Uh, let's go to Jen today. Let's grab some stuff to sell. We'll wear that. We can put these away for now. What do you got in you? Green? That's fine. All right. Well, we do have a bunch of stuff to sell here. I just have to find it. Give me a second here. All right, we're doing okay for gas. We got 10,000. We got 35 hazmat fiber. Actually, how many engines do we have? We got five there. So let's just grab these three. We'll sell those as well. Uh, where is the rest of our coin? We got 33 there. Ah, we're not going to make enough. I was going to say we could see if we're close to buying a uh, a level up or a uh, mastery, but we're not. Uh, let's put this down so it's out of the way with the tanning rack and a sewing kit. Let's put you down here for now uh, and get those two put in. I think that's it. So actually we want to go ahead and merge these two. Get a little bit of a repair on this thing, but not much. All right, so we've got a bit of stuff to sell. Let's actually take the rest of our coin, just in case she does have some great stuff. Where is it? we got 50 grand in here somewhere. Unless I left it at the other base. Oh, God. Organization. Actually, you know what? Put those down there now. I don't know what I'm going to be doing out here yet, so let's do that. We can put all the food and medical supplies in those ones. Actually, I'm going to take a second to do that. Okay, that should about do it. So that's our food stuff. Man, we're not looking so good on food. I guess we're okay. we got to get our farm going. I don't think it's going to happen around here. We're going to put it somewhere else so it doesn't get destroyed. So let's grab some water here before we go. Let's grab you. A bit of digestive efficiency. Might as well. Put that in there. Uh, anything else? Don't think so. Oh, we have these guys. I didn't get everything. I am going to be doing a proper kitchen here at some point, just not yet. Okay, not bad. Let's just, might as well take one of these before we go. Alright, now, uh, before we leave, let's have a look at our skill point situation. We should have a few of them. Uh, where are we here? Right here, we got four. Alright, so let's think about this. Um, do we... Have shotguns are maxed out, and I believe our farmer class shotguns are maxed out. We could max out shoot sous chef, but I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, tool gun, science crafting. Oh, so we what level are we now? We're level 80. Perfect. Okay, so we can do. Where's the coil? 
Can we get the second level of coil crafting, or do we have? Do we already have that? Coil gun crafting level two, that gives us the coil carbine sniper, and seven six two rounds. Perfect. So we'll take. We're going to take that. Then we're going to take gun crafting to max that out, so we can make a coil weapon. I'm going to take and then two points into science crafting. And that'll give us do-it-yourself. So we can make our own electrical parts and plastic now. We don't actually have to farm them as much. We will need a good uh, corn farm for, for uh, plastic. And um, a way to make lots of jars for water. And then this is just... Um, electrical parts are just... I believe in the mechanical workstation it's lead and forged iron. Which forged iron is easy to get and lead we can just go out and do some mining. Okay, so let's go to Jen right now and see what she's got for us. Actually, we're going to avoid going to Jen. We're almost at the end of the day here. It's like really brutal. Um, so we got to find some mines here really close to our house. We're pretty close to our place right now. So we've got two blocks right here. What do we got? Coal. So that's good. Yeah, I see ya. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Okay. I hear somebody else coming. We're gonna get hit. Aha, maybe not. What's up, you? Apparently not much. Hey, Mo. Let's go down here. Check this one out. There's a hazmat zombie in the uh, the pen here, so we're gonna go and check that out. Get that and that. What's this guy? Oh, nitrate. Beautiful. So we'll mark that. Man, we couldn't get any better than this. I mean, we could. But these two are pretty darn close together, so there's a possibility that um, they'll connect to each other. Not even going to be that one hazmat piece that I need, are you? Now, if that one down there is iron, which it could be. Don't hit my bike. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Taking that one to the face. Uh, there should be corn up here, too. Yeah, there's a bit of corn in that field. I'm not going to worry about it right now, though. We should come back with the iron hoe. Because an iron hoe, I guess, now that I've read up on it, actually triples your yield. So this is iron here. Man, this is excellent. Perfect. So the, yeah, the um, iron hoe triples your yield. Ooh, steel. So we should be able to get um, some good stuff out of this. So rather than getting two, we should get six per if we use the iron hoe. It would be the same with things like this, right? So I'm going to leave them for now. Uh, what can we do here? Sexual tension? What the hell? Dude, that kind of film, what the, what the hell kind of driving is that? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just wondering what the hell kind of driving it is. That's all. All right, how are we doing for wood, actually? Uh, we've got a lot, enough wood. Oh, man, this is going to be a real short episode. Um, we go to Bob and sell this stuff. You know what? I think I really want to speed down to Jen, though, because if she's got hazmat fiber... I want to make sure we get it. So let's go down there and just check out what she's got real quick. So I've been giving it a lot of thought whether or not I want to switch this to 90 minute days. And I think I'm going to stay at, at the uh, at the, the um, day level we're at now. Um, we'll, stick with the, uh, we'll stick with the 60 minute days. It's nice to kind of have that little bit of pressure where you, you know you have to do stuff or you're going to be in a lot of trouble, right? I'm kind of enjoying that. I am and I'm not, you know. I can't really do what I want to do. I have to spend all my time doing what I have to do. 
All right, so there's a few things I want to see if she has. One, if she has any hazmat uh, gear, which we can break down for a hazmat fiber. I don't think they. Are, I don't think the traders ever sell just fiber. At least I haven't seen it. If they do, okay. We're, it looks like we're pretty clear here. They're going to spawn in in a second, so let's just get in here real quick. And then the second thing we want to look. Four. You again. Yeah, it's me. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Let's stick Jen. all that. Uh, the second job. thing we want to look for is military fiber. Uh, can I see your inventory? What do you got for me? Uh, let's take a lot of this stuff out of here. We got to pull the die out of that thing. Pull the die out of that suit before we sell it to her. I right, made a little bit of coin on that. Ah, uh, we might as well sell that. Uh, we can sell this. We've got one at home still. I hope you get feeling better. Uh, oh, we want to sell the, the bow as well. So modify this. See your inventory. We're going to sell you that. And that. Nope. Apparently we're not. Alright, so what do you got for me? We got shotgun rounds. Well, tops were good. We got another. We've still got 30. Level 40 military gloves. Actually, what I are we just wearing? Knew you'd find something you'd like. I haven't found anything yet, Jen. 49, 60. So we, if we can find better boots, better helmet, and better legs. We'll, they'll, they'll quiet down in a second here. If you don't know, if you're actually talking to the trader when it's on Feral Sense, um, for some reason, you kind of cease to exist in Feral Sense land. They'll stop banging after a while, and then they just don't know you're here. Which I'm not exactly sure why that is, but that is the case. Uh, I found it with every single playthrough I've done with Darkness Falls at this level. Uh, as you can hear, it's quiet. They were banging, but now they're not. Bunker Buster we've already got, right? We do. It's the other one. We need Iron Breaker. Okay, so you don't have anything there we need. That's what we sold you. Man, like really? I guess if you can't find 40 clay, buying a mortar and pestle would be fine. Because um, you know how hard it is to find, right? Green alcohol we don't need. Don't need any of that. Uh, I'm going to buy the shotgun ammo. I think our shotgun's still going to be viable for the next few hordes anyway. So uh, we'll just buy the ammo. It's cheap. And nothing else there. Armor-wise, what are we looking at? 13 military vest, 14... 30 legs. Yeah, nothing really. I mean, I know I could merge it up to level 40. But I don't want to spend the extra money unless we absolutely have to. So you don't have any hazmat. Kind of a wasted trip, but... We'll see what, if there's anything else we can get out of you here. Nothing really here either, either, eh? Okay, well, that's it. Um, here, you can have that. Now that was a good deal. Yeah. Trust me. Of course it was. I'm a doctor. Alright. Hey, lady. Well, you got up. You didn't, though. Cowboy hat. Uh, what time of day is it? We got a little bit of time left over. So let's head back to our town. And if we've got a bit of time, we'll hit up a building on the outside of town. Yeah, I'm really dreading that trip across the wasteland. Like, I know we have to make it. Because the longer we wait, then the harder it's going to be when we actually go to that... The first military installation. The first research bunker. Um, if you play your cards right, that bunker goes like clockwork. It's fast. If you're, if you're in quickly and you murder the first two spawners quickly, then you don't have to worry about screamers. You can handle the, the military zombies relatively simply. I'm going to bring a couple of steel hatches with me. One of them is going to go in front of the, the, uh, the door to the um, military zombie room. And the second one we're going to keep just in case we get a screamer showing up, in which case we'll put it in front of the door that goes into the resource place. Um, now... When you're actually... Actually, you know what? We're going to grab resources on the way home. This is a dull episode, but we have to do it. Um, so if you... 
set it up properly, you go with 20 Molotovs, even if a Screamer does come in, as long as you're not late stage game where they're spawning demons and stuff, and like really tough radiated zombies, if you're still relatively early stage, kind of where we are, then what'll end up happening is they'll come down, they're gonna fill up in that um, little vestibule area at the bottom of the stairs. You can throw Molotovs at the doorway and then um, the mol as long as you stay quiet and the screamer doesn't keep screaming, you can use the Molotovs to burn them, burn them out. You can even burn out zombie bears. I've done it, it's no problem. I think I used like 12 Molotovs or something. There was a Demolisher in there. Uh, there was two Screamers. They die pretty quickly. As long as you're quiet. And that's a Wandering Horde. Look at that, they just spawned in. I want to fight these guys. You know, we haven't done anything today. We haven't done anything today. Let's do something. I know we just bought some ammo too, right? Don't let up the bike. Don't let up the bike. Aim for the head or the man is dead. Burn you, Bernie. I'll take these guys on first, then we'll go after the other guys. Oh! 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 How many shots we got? Five left. Reload. Alright. One bag. Hopefully we get some military fiber here. Or hazmat fiber, one or the other. Come on, you guys. It's the bears I'm worried about. I don't have any automatic weapons for the bears, so... We can outrun them. I'm not that worried. Come on, you fucker. Come on. Ooh, juicy! Oh, you paid for that. So, it's the guys that bob and weave back and forth that are the hardest. Ooh, there's a, a uh, thing that we haven't uh, got yet. There's a demo over here, too. Yeah, we can outrun these bears. I'm not worried. The shotgun drawn, they can't catch us. Oh, second one came right through the first one. Ooh, that's a twofer. Ah, I missed. Damn it! Line it up. Got them both. Now this guy. So shotgun still is the uh, best weapon. Now it does call screamers if you don't know what you're doing with it. If you stay in one location and fight the zombies, then yeah, it's gonna call screamers. And that's the dumbest thing you can do. Staying in one location and fight a watering horde. Cause they will definitely it will definitely call in screamers. You know? There's still a bear back there, another one over here. You know, it'll definitely call in screamers. I don't know where that bear's going. But if you move around and you're not in the same chunk, then there's no real worry, right? You'll be raising the heat map, but it won't be as bad. I'm not going to bother with that bear. Fuck him. He's not going to have anything good anyway. This guy might, though. Let's grab this. It's nice that I can four hit these now. Three power attacks and one normal attack. Oh. Yeah. Grab you. Grab you. Might as well harvest these bears. And we'll grab this. Alright, well, let's keep heading home. Actually, I'm going to grab the oranges here. 
Got a couple trees worth of oranges. Might as well grab them. Making some orange tea soon enough. We're gonna have to make some, uh... Wait, whose town is this? This is still Jen, right? Are we at ours yet? Oh, this is our town. Alright, well, we gotta make our way back home anyway. What's up, big mama? As Glock would say, choppity chop. Alright, let's take this down. Okay, well, that was our free day, which means tomorrow there's a chance for a horde. So, uh, because of that, we're going to have to kick around our home base for a bit. Um, we may want to... I think we're going to stay in town. We're going to stay in this town. And if we don't get a horde tomorrow, then we will go do the mission. The refinery. Check out that place. And then... Uh, if we do get a horde, well, we're going to have to go back to the old base and fix it up. Because we don't have enough blocks to really get this new one up and running properly yet. Um, I, I figured if I, to do it right, you really need about 2,000 um, concrete blocks. I know it sounds like a lot, but to do it properly, you, you kind of need that much. I'm going to just turn around here. The bike go in the opposite direction. Alright, let's refuel you. So don't forget for next time. So it was worth taking on that watering horde. Totally was worth it. Anybody loitering? It should be quiet. I don't think there'll be anybody. That's at least going to give us the ability to get this place sorted out here. Actually, let's take these down. Okay, that's that got that problem solved. Let's take this out of here. I haven't searched this yet. Wow. Um, okay, clock on the wall. We'll leave that. I kind of like that. And that's all fine. Now, um, there is nightfall. Let's have a quick look up on... I did grab the stuff up here, right? Yeah, we came to the door. Yeah, because I redid the roof. All right, so not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go downstairs now. It'll take a few minutes here. Actually, one of the things I do enjoy is a good uh, sniping session at night. If you can get it. I don't know who heard me. It's somebody in my base, I think. I mean, I really shouldn't be doing this because I don't need the extra XP. Because, uh... We don't want to be getting the levels too, too fast. All right, now, um, metal workstation. We don't have, we have our lathe here, we do. Although making a coil carbine is really pricey at this point. It's steel, mechanical, electrical, and oil. Well, oil for when you put it together, it's five, I think. Actually, no, I think it's five oil per part. Um, let me just see real quick here. We need a battery for that, too. Our steel's not in here. Where's our steel? Probably, um, I'm gonna get to get this sorted tonight. It's, we're so badly or organized. It's so bad. Which means we got to make coil rounds, too. So here's the steel. We have a battery. Okay, perfect. Let's throw you down. Actually, let's grab... You and you. Actually, that's three slots. That's two. Uh, battery. Bring you down. 
You know what? I think we gotta pull these out. I think these are just wood. Yeah. Just the trim. Alright, we'll put you here. And get that in there. Now, uh, lathe. So, if we're gonna make a coil carbine, we need a coil carbine receiver. We need a grip. Uh, we need parts. And we need a barrel, which is pipes, which we should have here. Now, I should make two, not that, because I should make a shotgun as well. Let's make a shotgun barrel, um, coil carbine barrel. God, we're burning through our materials. Cool. Look at, I mean. It's not that bad, I guess. Five oil is the worst, though. Uh, coil shotgun receiver. Uh, we need coil, another set of coil gun parts and another coil gun grip. That'll give us the ability to make two, two uh, coil weapons. And we should be good. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to get stuff sorted tonight. Oh, I might even fix that wall. I don't know yet. Uh, but I will get stuff organized. And... Um, get started on uh making a few more items here like more concrete and stuff um so i'm gonna end the episode here hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and please drop your comments in the comment section down below i always love to read them until next time we'll see you later